What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved! That's right, we're playing here with Mega Myth Modded, having so much fun doing flips! Man, still got it! Yes! We have been having an amazing time. Last episode, I tamed up, yes, two amazing creatures from the additional creatures mod. Yeah, we got this Sinnoh Tyrannus. Yeah, this dude is able to shoot, in, in addition to being an epic carnivore, able to shoot all sorts of spikes and stuff like that out. Pretty cool. And it actually generates them. Yes, look at this. In its inventory, I've got a whole box full of them because, you know, it's like its own ammo and actually needed it to uh, craft up the saddle and everything, but it is super epic, and it's even got a move where it can shoot out. Let me see if I can do it. I think it is like this. Boom! It can shoot out 30 of the spikes all at once. It is, it is incredibly epic. Yeah! We also got another one of these, uh, I, I keep calling them alligator dudes, but um, yeah, another one of these guys, which is also extremely cool. Can you sit down for us? Oh, you're so awesome. But anyway, yes, today I'd like to get back to dragons and wyverns and stuff like that because there's some pretty cool things showing up on the shiny finder. So come on, Dralian, let's -a go out on the hunt. There's one in particular that uh, I've been wanting for a while and finally a really cool shiny version is showing up on the map. So I'm going to go off to hunt it down. But guys, please remember if you're enjoying this series to show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, seriously, what are you waiting for? It is the perfect time to subscribe. All right, guys, wish me luck. I'll meet you over at the Wyvern. All right, guys, the shiny finder says it should be just right up here. And this, let's wait till we get our eyes on it. Come here, bro. Where are you? Somewhere around in here. There it is. Yes. This is the Hail Fire Wyvern. It is a special variant of uh, Ice Wyvern. Yeah. So I think it should be pretty cool. And I think, let's just see. It is a KO tame. Wow, that's a lot of torpor, though. Real lot of torpor. And this guy is wily. It is crazy insane. Just going after everybody and everything. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I hate these things. All right, let's uh, let's get rid of these guys. I don't want them uh, bothering us while we're trying to tame. Come here. All right, got you. Jeez. All right, we don't want to hit the oh the wyvern. Look at him, he's right there. All right, come on. Oh, it'd be so great if he got stuck. Member like the ice wyvern. This guy's gonna—I mean, the water wyvern. This guy's gonna be way more difficult though, of a creature to go after. Oh man, who? Sh okay, that's his spikes. Get out of here. And get that dire wolf. All right, please stay there. Oh, this would be so amazing. Um, oh, right away, of course. Where are you going, bro? He's like, I don't like to be shot. Don't get me like that. All right, I don't know what happened there. Come here, bro. And this is definitely going to take a while. I can already tell. Ooh. Holy crap! Now, it drops down a hellfire of, uh, yeah, all sorts of, like, spikes and such. Let's get this while we're here, too. Come here. Nice. 68. All right. I think we're going to have to get rid of these dudes, too. And this griffin. Come here, griffin. I would love to tame you, but... Oh, he's so pretty. This is one of the ones, though, that gives you, I think, like, radiation or something crazy. We'd have to, I think, wear, like, a rad suit while riding him. Oh, you're so beautiful, though. All right. Get all the piggies and such. 
All right, this is going to take a while. So I think we just, I am going to go continue to shoot at this guy because it's probably as soon as I clear out an area, it's going to be like, oh, nothing else to eat. Got to go. But it seems like it's taking uh, hits very well. Wow. Do you see this? This guy is insane. Wow. Now this guy is a filthy designation. So he, he, yeah, the ability does that to us. Um, we can clean him once we tame him, but it's going to be a bit nuts. All right, come on, bro. Nice. All right, I'll see you back once we're getting closer to uh, actually knocking him out. Dang it. I got him up to like halfway on Torpor and then it despawned. That's what happens with the shinies. They're only on the map for a limited amount of time. And that one had already been on for like seven hours. So... <sighs> what you gonna do? That beautiful beauty is gone forever. One day, one day, a new one may arrive that's shiny. But I'm really digging this dude. Um, I'm gonna search around to see if I can maybe find another. I'm sure there's more than one on the map. It's probably not gonna be shiny, but let's hope that we can at least find a decent level one. All right, guys, still no luck. Usually, though, the Hailfire Wyverns are over in the more volcanic areas. Yes, but I just came across this dude. This is, remember that first Wyvern, the, or the Wyvern we tamed the other day? The special one? Yeah, this guy. Uh, apparently, there's a special Frozen variant of this guy. Um that's part of the shiny dinos mod and it like covers him in ice but he looks so stinking cool and uh the torpor is really not that high on him it says ko tame so let's just hope that's actually the case uh thought i got a hit there come here bro oh weird weird He's not even aggroing on us. Oh, crap. What happened? Let's hope that we just, like, missed. Oh, dude. There's a hellfire. All right. So, if this... All right. Oh, no. Okay. We got him. We got him. Come here, bro. All right. This guy should stay aggroed on us, hopefully, for a while. But that is not very high torpor. Um. So, yeah. We're going to go after this guy for sure. I wonder if I can net him. I'll, I'll, oh, you do a flip, bro? I didn't know about that. Oh, this one's a 900, though. This is like the absolute max that you can get. Oh, this is going to be good. All right, per second, I was so scared. I really hope that it's not lying and we actually can tame this guy by knockout. Come on. And it might even have an egg, uh, a nest somewhere because it is a female. All right, that's it. Just stay there. Get stuck. Oh, this is working out perfectly. All right, so far so good. Once he's about halfway, I'll just test to see if the net works to prevent any type of running. It's not hitting us through the mount, thus far anyway. Come on. Ooh, that definitely hurts though. Oh crap, I missed. Come on, dude. Oh my goodness, I hate this. All right, that hit, that hit. All right. All right, we're going to try the net. And, oh, I can, I can net him. All right, let's wait till he's in a good spot. Come on. Yes! All right. Oh, crap. Don't be in a weird place where I can't shoot you. Oh, come on, Torpor, rise. Oh, crap. Come on. You can do this. I have faith. You get a lot more Torpor if I wait longer, but I think if we want to get it out in that amount of time, I think we have to spam. Oh, this is great. All right, so close. 20 more seconds. We got this. We got this. All right. It's jamming. Come on. Why does this happen so much? Ark, fix your game. All right. 
Let's hope that we can actually get into him. I'm going to go and try and land above. All right. Beautiful. And five extraordinary. Dude, this is so cool. All right. Um, extraordinary. Five. And starve out. Boom. Let's take the milk and... Taming? Taming? Yes! Oh, we got a 900 of one of these things finally. Oh, that is epic. All right, let's scoop you up. So, very cool. One of my favorite shiny designations, Frozen. Oh, and next, what are you? Look at that. 540. The Torpor is crazy high in these things, though. Oh, crap, and I hear music. Everlast Dralian? Ugh. All right, let's see if we can get this guy to come in the same area that the other one did. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on up here. Let's get away. Whoa! Yeah, this guy's a bit nastier. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't think it would be, but oh, it is. It is very nasty. I can't believe a 900 had that low a torpor for the other guy. And then this dude is like, what? Ouch. And this guy does hit through the mount. We hit him for more, though, so that's good. We'll be doing a little bit more torpor. All right. Beautiful. Already, this one's going way faster than the last one. Oh. I'm definitely going to have to use health potions for this guy if I want to chill here. Come on. Come on. All right. Ooh, let's do that right now, by the way. And is that good enough for me? All right, that one's plenty good. Come on, bro. Oh, no. Jeez. All right, this might take a little bit longer than I thought. So why don't I come back once he's like around halfway at least. Holy crap. It's getting real. It's getting real, real. What's going on? Please tell me didn't lose interest right then. All right. Come here, bro. All right. I'm going to try and net him soon. Oh, we got to get him away from all that shenanigans. No, no, no. Dude. Dude, come after me. All right. All right. Let's bring him up here. Come on, bro. And let's hope that we can net him. All right, right around in here. Oh, crap. I'm seeing red. What's going on, Dralian? Why are you being all goofy-like? All right, let's land right here. Please let me net him. Oh, crap. It doesn't look like we can. Oh, wells. It would have been nice. I don't know why we can do one, but we can't do the other. Come on, bro. Oh! The only problem about sitting, like, here <laughs> is that the, bo the uh, you know, his explosives are just ridiculous. Come on, come on. Yeah. All right. We'll see what happens once he runs. The only problem is this is a really, if we're down low, this is a really bad place to be. All right, let's do another health potion. Oh, come on, dude. Small possibility doesn't run. Was I too? I don't think I got either of those hits. Yeah. Come on, dude. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. He hasn't started running yet. Oh, that might have been it. That might have been it. Yeah, it looks like he's running now. All right. That's fine, bro. That is fine. Um, we cannot take this guy out over the ocean, though. That is a big no-no. This is a bad place. Maybe he gets stuck somewhere. Maybe we can lure him away from here. We will just have to see. All right. Still getting hits in, though. That's good. Oh, man. Not over the Wyvern Den, please. 
Please not over to Wyvern Den. Now, this guy's not shiny, so he cannot despawn on us. What is going on there? Ugh! All right. Well, this is good, at least. We're getting them away from that horrible island. Although, if we could have netted them, that would have been so good. I think we're kind of lucky that we did the last one. One more. You can do it. Come on. Yeah. Yeah! All right. Let's try and fly down quickly. Don't fall on bad stuff, please. All right. These guys. Raptors. Yep. Let's get the raptors. Other than that, I think we lucked out. All right. So, four regular kibble. Come here, bro. Oh. And moment of truth. Five. Starve out. Minus one. Yeah! And a 540. I will take it. I will definitely take it. Yes. All right, guys. Two epic, awesome wyverns today. Let's go make those saddles and let's go try them out. Man, what a day! Two epic wyvern. In all honesty, I'm kind of happy we lost out on that first one because I wouldn't have gone searching for more. And this dude, oh, it is beautiful. It's really hard to capture in like a thumbnail or something, but yeah, it is absolutely stunning. I love how this mod can do this like to everything, even like modded guys. And look at that melee, 221. This is going to be so good. Um, however, we already went out on one of those guys. So why don't we go out today, at least for now, on the Hailfire. It doesn't do it much justice in the light because it's a, a white color one or a lighter color. But look at it in the natural light. Absolutely stunning. And just look at all those crystals. They grow off of them and actually over time generate. It's it's a pretty cool thing, and these might be able to be used in other uh, crafting recipes and such. Let's go ahead and give it all these goodies. Beautiful. Give it a keep folder. Oh, let's spell keep right. Awesome. Yes. And let's take it out. Let's see how it does. Now, it's not going to be as powerful as what the initial shiny one could have been, but I think it's still going to be a force to reckon with. Oh, it is so mean looking. You can see how it's based off of an Ice Wyvern, though. Like, for sure. But it's got so many cool crystals. And that's what... They come off and they're like fire elemental explosives. They're really, really neat. All right. So, um, we're also getting insulation. So, increases both hypothermic and... It, so, both of them. That's what you get from this guy. It might be a good creature to go out into the snow biome with. Let's just see what the uh, starting bites do. All right, come here, Mr. Rax, before we start to boost him up. So, wow. Yeah, not bad. Not quite a thousand. That would have been nice, but very, very close to. And then right click. Oh, that does decent damage as well as, you know, like the slowing effect and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'll give it an XP potion in a moment. Let's just try some of its other moves. So again, while on the ground, it does that effect. Okay, and when you do the wing swipe, look at that. That does a lot. Let's go over him, and it sets him on fire, too. Now, did I use up all my crystal? No, I still have more. I'm not sure how many I need to do it. I didn't really pay attention to how many were consumed. All right, a little hard to aim. It goes kind of behind it, but yeah, that is super duper cool. And then is there another move? No X. At least that I'm seeing controls. All right, I think we're good. All right, why don't we start to level this guy up? Beautiful. And let's also give it some XP boosters so we can do this faster. All right, come on, trolls. Let's go. And, oh, I don't know if the breath levels up. So we're over a thousand now. I can't tell. It might have it leveled up a little bit. All right, who's over here still? Come here, Goblin Stabber. Turd Nugget. 
All right, slow down, and we got him. Beautiful. Now, this guy doesn't seem like he has incredible carry weight. It's not bad, but it's it's not as high as a lot of other wyverns, it seems like. All right. And let's see. Do the explosives go up? Let's try and get close. All right. I wonder if I can... S Ooh. It kind of feels like it might have. It might have gone up. If it does, that's going to be crazy good. Oh, my Lord. All right. Uh, we have... I just want to see something. We have 10 crystals in us. Let's do that. And... Oh. Hey. It may not even take the crystals. Oh. That would be even more amazing. Seriously. Really, really cool. All right. And I'm going to have to look up to see if there's any other moves on this guy. But it seems like that might be it. But hey, that's all we need. That is all we need. All right, let me get some good levels into him and then we can try him out more. Man, that is one beautiful looking wyvern. It is so incredibly cool. I leveled them up to 200 thus far into the melee. So we still got 55 more levels to go. But uh, a couple of neat things too. Um, this guy, so it's actually, uh, it's kind of a hybrid even though it seems like it's more ice it's actually fire and ice so of course you know the the spikes in the bottom of them being the fire part i also didn't notice that uh the breath even though it's like a slowing breath like the ice wyvern look at what actually comes out of it you see that it actually shoots out like projectile spikes it's super cool and then, yeah, that would be the fire part. And this guy, I guess, is, like, most known for being a potential raid creature. You know, like, to go raid a base and just drop that across the, you know, something. They're explosive and set things on fire. It would actually probably be pretty amazing in PvP. Now, 200 levels into the melee. And let's just take... Do I dismount on top? All right, didn't fall through. Let's just look real quick. All right, so we're only 132 in the melee, which is not bad, but for it's not the best either. So probably could be way, way more powerful. But let's just see at 200. What are we biting for? So still shy of 2,000. That part of it makes it, yeah, definitely not the best wyvern. But all the attacks do seem to level up with it, including the breath. Look at that, already up to seven. And then this shenanigans. Can we hit something directly? Look at that. We hit that guy for 1,600. And that is leveling up. We can't spam that attack, but... Oh, that can do a lot. If you can get all of them to hit on one creature, per se, I can take out Magmasaurs in, like, one go. It is pretty dang cool. So that's really the special part about this guy. And then also the added resistances are nice. Oh, we got a shiny down here. Let's just get this. Come here, bro. Come get it. And yes, dude, I need that generator unlocked so badly. All right. Um. So why don't we go over to... Oh, which one's which? I always forget. Let's see. I want to go to the ice area. I want to see if it will allow me, because of the special resistance, to not get cold. And look at that. I, I'm, I'm fine. That is epic. If I dismount, I guess just being in his vicinity. Okay, there we go. See, it gets super cold, but mount on him, and we're fine. This is the perfect creature for this area. All right, so why don't we head over? I'm kind of curious about the Ice Wyvern Den. Also, we can get nice mutton while we're here. Awesome. All right, continuing on. I'm trying to think if there's that many big creatures that I've seen in here. I think Yudis are the biggest I've seen thus far. I'm sure Rexes can spawn, but I don't know. We can definitely take our time in here, though, now, being uh, with this, this mount. So I'm super psyched about that. I really haven't. This is, out of all the maps, probably one of the ones that I've explored the uh, the least, dude. I've been seeing these around every so often. It's a catfish. Isn't that cool? It's a passive tame with eight. That probably is going to take a while. But I'm curious about this guy. 
Should we check one out maybe later? I see a lot of shiny ones. Look at that. Oh, it is so cool. All right, I'm going to wait until we can find a shiny one, especially if it's going to take eight kibble. That's going to take a while. Let's just uh, see that. What would we get if we ate this guy? Oh, what's he doing to us? Tons of poison. Good God, this thing is aggressive and it's spun. What the crap? All right, let's blow him up. Yeah, get wrecked, catfish. Dude, that thing's nasty. We definitely have to check one out. Now those, I never, I never see them in the ocean. I suppose it's possible they could be in the ocean, but I usually see them in like little rivers or lakes. I've even seen them, a lot of them in caves too. So interesting creature. There's lots of cool stuff that we have. All right, how are we doing? Doing okay? All right, is there anything I can level up quick? We may, hopefully I'll get this guy to max, but I'm not expecting insane damage from him, at least from the bite. We'll probably get a little bit over two. What do we got, a Dralian? Now, Dralians are always good to get just for their uh, Dralian gems, if you're not gonna tame them. But I've noticed not every Dralian actually gives a Dralian gem. That is super weird. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if it's just a rare drop or what. But, all right. Well, this might get us to over two now, finally. How did I pick up stone? Get out of here. Let's go ahead, drop this in there. Boom, boom. You ever notice on this map, they have the weirdest, like, little, like, random yells or sounds? And the ambient sounds? I don't even know if you guys can hear that but it is sometimes very weird. There's one that sounds like a cell phone vibration all the time, makes me look at my cell phone. In this map, uh, it's got like that, that shrill, like a bird shrill or something. All right, anyway, come on, light them up. Oh, for direct hits, we're almost getting to 2000. That is so good. All right, carrying on. What's this doing now? All right, a little bit less. Come on, Peggy. Oh, didn't quite hit the 2000 mark. That's like the main mark I want to get to. All right, we got a UD. Yeah, did you hear it just then? It did the little like almost, it's similar to a cell phone sound. It's so weird. All right, anyway, random stuff. I'm usually, when I go to this biome, I'm just in and out, like, as soon as possible. But it's kind of fun being able to check it out. I wonder if there's any cool caves that I've missed. I know the, like, at least the, what I think, the really big direwolf cave that we used to go to, I think that is now gone, which is super sad face. You know, it had that huge ice cave, but there's got to be something in here. I think they, like, really, like, majorly toned it down. All right, what else we got? And, all right, I'm gonna keep on running around and peeking around in here and leveling them up. And I guess I'll come back either when I find something really epic or when we're at max attack. Wow, can I just say, this really is one of the prettiest winter biomes I've ever seen. It is just so incredible. I love all these like waterfalls and these weird like ice structures glaciers or I don't even know what you call them oh look at that the reflections off of the water it's just so pretty I love all the different blues um anyway this actually wouldn't be a horrible spot maybe to have a base there's so many cool spots I, I just love this map by far my favorite um anyway finally got there it took some time but uh yeah one two three four and five so max attack um it's pretty it's a pretty healthy wyvern. Uh, mine has 50, almost 4,000 health to boot. Um, we still have, what, like 49 or 4? I don't know. We got a lot of levels still to go. I kind of would like movement speed, but I could see why if you're trying to be more accurate with uh, shooting those things out, it could make it a little difficult if you're too fast. But why don't we, just for our purposes, go ahead like that. 
All right, cool, because this guy is not imprinted. If we were, I'm pretty sure these guys can lay eggs. But if they're able to lay eggs, um, then yeah, imprinting these guys would definitely be the way to go. Let's see what, though, ours is like for attack. Come here, birdie bird. All right, and come on. Get that bite. There we go. Nice. Wow. Too bad it wasn't two, 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 two. But yeah, still pretty cool. So that's where we are maxed with no uh, breeding uh, boost or anything. Um, this move's actually proved to be one of the better ones as long as you can aim it correctly, which I didn't do so much there. But if you can get all those spikes to hit, it does a lot of damage really quick. But by far the best is if you can find a creature large enough, which most of the leveling I did at this guy was in the Magmasaur den, and I was able to just walk right up to Magmasaur and then just unload. Oh, man. But when you get all those hits, it is quite good. Ooh. What was that? I was hoping it wasn't a Diorax. But yeah, I mean, this possibly even could be cool on a Diorax. Like, not many creatures can, from a, a safe height, drop such a lethal amount of, uh, of stuff. And then also get the fire damage. So, all in all, I love this thing. I think it is super duper cool. Definitely useful. And uh, just all around fun. There's definitely something going on. Is that the just the fight music because I initiated a fight? Or is there a boss down here? No, I think that's just the fight music. It's cool. But anyway, guys, I had such a fun day. Let me go through those comments. All right, guys, we are back at the base. And yes, I just finished going through the comments and it is now that time. That's right. Time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Just remember, if you want to have a chance of getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button and yeah, just comment down below. It is just that easy. Anyway, for today, we have over here. Yes, these two guys. So their names will be Tyrantrum and Zarax. Very cool names, guys. Very cool names. For next episode, we have the Hellfire Wyvern and our new frozen, uh, yeah, Wyvern guy. However you say that. But anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure. Please remember, as always, show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc awesomeness. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again and peace out.